Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a new video for you guys. And today's video, I am going to be testing the denim brush. So these are my results. If you guys want to see my thoughts on it and the process, then please stay tuned. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. And let's get right into the video. So I washed my hair with the No Poo Original by Diva Curl. Nothing new here. And I actually washed my hair yesterday. So I washed my hair yesterday night with the No Poo Original. And then I deep conditioned with the Diva Curl Melt Into Moisture. That is my favorite hair mask ever. So I actually slept in that. And then I just rinsed out my hair like in the middle of my makeup application. So this is where I'm at right now. It is probably still soaking wet because it hasn't been like even a full hour yet. But in case it isn't, I do have my handy dandy spray bottle here. All right. So yeah, it's actually pretty dry just because I kept it in the towel. But it's not like anything like super duper dry. I'm just gonna split the hair. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a spritz whatever just because it is a little dry and I like it to be a lot more on the wet side when I'm styling it although I, I don't want it to be drenched right now actually I'm gonna put a towel down on my lap um, I don't want it to be fully drenched right now because I don't have the time to go from fully drenched hair but okay I think that's good enough and sadly for me I didn't find one of my favorite hair stylers, which is the Diva Curl Believe In. So I'm doing with, without that today. So I'm going to go with a little bit of the Super Cream. And I'm going to take like that much. It's not even a full pump because this stuff is really, really heavy. I'm just going to rake that through my hair. I'm really nervous. I also feel like it's a whole new world where I don't know where I'm, what I'm doing. Because half of me is thinking if I do this for the whole hair, that's too much product. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm just going to put a little bit of the Archangel Gel, which I'm almost out of. And I need to get another bottle because this, when I need hold, this is like my favorite, favorite gel. And it doesn't leave a cast or anything. So I'm just raking that. And now I'm going to take the infamous denim brush. And I'm going to shaking the root of my curls. I mean, these are always my best curls anyway, so I'm not too worried about them. And plus they're at the bottom, so it's not like you're gonna see them anyway. I'm gonna take bigger sections because if I do small sections like this, it's gonna take forever. And I'm pretty sure you don't do small sections when you're doing this. So I'm just gonna take bigger sections here. So typically you've guys seen from my old pictures, I think, no, not pictures, videos. Um, I don't section off my hair much when I'm styling. I kind of just do it all together. And truly, that's probably why my results hasn't been like crazy lately, I feel like. Um, because I've just gotten lazy and I'm just like, oh, I don't feel like sectioning off. I style it all at once. So I feel like sectioning it off this time is going to give me better results anyways because I'm actually making sure that each strand here I go with the gel. I'm putting more gel than cream because the cream is already super hydrating. You can use like a little bit and it'll go a long way. But I do want more hold because I have a shoot tomorrow and I need to keep these curls intact. So suctioning off is definitely going to give me better results anyways. Alright, so here I go. I can't go without a scrunch, so I'm just gonna give it a scrunch. You guys seen what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna speed through the rest of it, and um, yeah. So for this front piece here, I'm making sure to put a little bit more gel. And honestly, I might go with a little more gel all around my hair. So my hair is fully brushed out and it has product. So I am just going to apply a little more gel. I'm actually going to flip my, my, my face, yeah. I'm going to flip my head forward and scrunch with the gel. 
so so now i'm just gonna take my towel and take out any excess product which i feel like my hair is nicely saturated i don't feel like usually if i have my hair drenched it'll be like a little bit too much of everything and um i think i might prefer to have more product than water so what I've noticed already using the denim brush that is not easily achievable without the denim brush is that it does clump your curls nicely and evenly, sort of. So if you have a problem with that, then I definitely suggest the denim brush. But let's see if overall my results is like a lot different because if it is, then that's a good thing. If it's good anyway now I'm just gonna let my hair air dry for about I don't have a lot of time today so I'm gonna let it air dry for maybe like 25 to 30 40 minutes if I could and then I'm just gonna diffuse and I'll be right back with my final results to share with you guys and I'll let you know what my thoughts are on this uh, denim brush so I'll see you guys in a little bit Okay, you guys, so I am back with the final results. I zoomed you guys in a little bit so you guys can see much better. And I really like my results. For one, some things that fall on me as I was styling. I was kind of in a rush. I didn't part it right. And I was kind of in a rush. And also, I diffused a little bit too much. Um, it's not even fully dry yet, but usually I let my hair air dry for about an hour, an hour and a half, and then I start diffusing. I feel like I get the best results when I diffuse only for about 15 minutes or so. Um, if not, I'll get more frizziness. So I do have some frizziness, but I had to speed up the process. However, my thoughts on the denim brush is I can't wait to try it some more because I feel like when it comes to definition, it gave me a lot more definition and that is something that I feel like my hair was lacking um, is definition because when I style it with my own hands, I get lazy on the scrunching and sometimes even with the fusing and stuff like that. So the brush helped separate my curls and give me definition to each strand, if you will. Another difference, which I will come a little closer to show you guys, is that the brush gave me these kinds of curls. So my ends typically look like, kind of like this, where it's just like a little bit stringier, and I know I need a trim anyway, so that's that. But for the most part, <laughs> my entire head kind of looks like that, and it almost rarely ever gets like this. Like these springy curls are freaking beautiful. Look at this clump right here. I might go in and separate curls, something I never do because I never really have to. Um, but I might go in and separate some curls once my hair is fully air dried. Well, I'm going to let it finish air drying. So once my hair is fully dried is when I might go in and separate some curls. But the brush, the denim brush did a really good job at clumping up my curls and giving me this, these nice clump um, curl clusters so that I can go and separate them and have like really beautiful springy curls so I love that I did that to my ends um so because of that I am definitely going to keep trying this if you guys would like to see me do this and attempt this in a better way because I feel like I didn't give it a fair shot just because I was rushing um then let me know and I'm actually gonna I'm going to update you guys. So in about maybe two to three weeks, I'm going to do another video with my new thoughts on the denim brush because then I'm going to use it about like two to three more times by then. I'm going to have some pictures here from when my hair is fully dried so you guys can see how beautiful my hair turned out. And um, let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think. Are you guys team? Oh, I'm also going to have some pictures of my hair without the denim brush so you guys can see the difference. So when you guys see the difference, let me know what you guys think. Team denim brush or team no brush? Let me know what you guys think. And if you guys want more videos like this, then let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.